So I'll invite Maroon Livney up for our final, final remarks of throughput computing 2023. Final question? One quick uh, promise. I will not keep you here for another 20 minutes. So uh, as it was uh, more, yeah, it was uh, a long week. Uh, we had uh, over 80 presentations. And as always, uh, when we started, uh, Todd came to me and said, what are we going to do? We don't have enough material, nobody is coming, uh, it's all falling apart. What would Kevin say when he sees an empty schedule and blah, 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 and I say, Todd, don't worry. So, uh, 80 presentations, over 140 in-person attendees, over 270 remote attendees. I think that's a, a pretty impressive uh, a crop for this week. And uh, uh, well, Brian or, uh, stole my thunder in uh, thanking uh, Janet and Tay for uh, taking such good care of us and uh, pulling the whole thing together. But I want also to recognize uh, uh, Todd and Frank, who is not here, and Christina, and is Tim hiding somewhere? Tim up there for really uh, turning uh, an idea that I put in front of them saying, let's have one week that brings together the all hands of OSG and Condor Week. And uh, as far as I can tell, they pulled together a real success. Uh, and uh, most likely we will build on this accomplishment and uh, do it again. <clears throat> uh, uh, I assume back here in Madison. So if you like the July weather in Madison, and I think that last night was a, a perfect example of uh, why Madison is uh, definitely a wonderful place in the summer and the terrace that uh, if all goes as, as planned, uh, we will all meet here again uh, sometime uh, in, in July to continue the discussion. And <clears throat> as you saw, we are not running out of uh, things to do. Uh, the, the science is, is driving us uh, for more and more throughput. Uh, we heard about how the orders of magnitude are increasing. But uh, we heard earlier today from the, the presentation from Africa that uh, we have significant uh, opportunities to also grow in, uh, on the adoption side. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, we should dream at the moment at the orders of magnitude, but maybe we should in terms of uh, 
adding stars to the deployment of HTCSS and uh, adding the, the number of users. By the way, I, uh, it, I was uh, interested uh, in the slide from, from Fermi that, uh, uh, did I get it right that it's uh, 12 million jobs uh, a week, roughly? One, one and a half, ah, it's 1.2 million. Yeah, okay, so I got an order of magnitude. Uh, uh, but uh, that is maybe the, the number that we should uh, do a better job in collecting. Uh, I think it would be good for all of us to be able to say at what uh, hurts yeah, are all the condo pools out there running at the moment? Uh, it's a number that will be good for us to feel good about it. And it may also help us to make the case to our colleagues and friends uh, inside the Beltway in Washington who are uh, funding the work that we are doing. So some food for thought to, to all of us is how can we get more information about uh, the hurts at which all the, the, the condos are, are running. Uh, other than that, we heard about uh, a lot about the need to Okay, I will. The, the, the need to uh, improve on our user experience. Uh, I think this is uh, an endless uh, challenge and uh, I think we will continue to do the best on our layer. And at the same time uh, to count on the different groups that are deploying uh, HTCSS in the different forms to create their own customized interfaces because uh, at the end of the day, if somebody has to be responsible for the vertical while HTCSS is the horizontal. If we spend too much of our effort on a few vertical, it will hurt our horizontals. And uh, it's, I, I cannot think of another meeting where you can get the level of diversity that we had here over this week. Uh, on one hand, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, gravitational waves. The other one is we are talking about uh, detecting uh, infection in, in Africa. And then we are having deep arguments about uh, tokens. And, uh, and, and on the other hand, we are talking about workflows. The itch, it's, it's amazing. And I hope we can uh, continue to, to maintain this, this diversity. As always, tell us how we can do better, more, or less. Some of us will be happy to hear that there is something we, should, we can and should do less. Uh, I also hope that next year we'll have uh, once again, uh, a, a fun presentation from DreamWorks on some some of your characters. You know, not not everything is what's coming down from uh, from space. Also, uh, please please tell us what you think about this week. Uh, 
we know that it was wonderful, but we want to know once again, what can we do different? Uh, and how can we improve the, the experience? Uh, we have some thoughts that may lead to a bigger a crowd here for next year. We will do everything we can to keep Fluno. I think that uh, the venue has once again proven itself to be uh, a great place to to host uh, this event, but uh, we'll see. So there's more food waiting for us. Safe travel for those of you who came from all over. Uh, those of you who are virtual, uh, maybe we can see you in Paris at uh, the end of September, right, Todd? Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are always uh, happy to help to organization that want to host uh, call it condo week or condo meeting uh, in in their region and depending of uh, what we can do and what they want us to do we are always there to help facilitate it we don't organize events outside of this event but we are actively participating. The, the European event is number what? Seven, eight? And uh, it's definitely a, a wonderful opportunity to experience Europe. Hopefully it will be not as hot as it's now, but uh, that is, uh, and there. Uh, there are opportunities in the Far East, and who knows, maybe we should start thinking about uh, an event in Africa. So, with all these uh, possibilities, once again, thank you. Travel safely and uh, keep pushing supercomputing forward.